What's up, y'all? I'm Mandy. This is Luca Red Tarot. So, somebody in the comments, I was asking y'all for um to give me some suggestions on what y'all wanted a reading on in the comments, and somebody mentioned uh separation. So, I was trying to tap into a separation energy here, and I feel like that's what I'm getting. Okay, so it's funny because this uh this fortune cookie it says start to look for your faults if you never make mistakes that fell out <clears throat> as i was pulling the car so i thought that was funny because because i'm tapping into the energy of a person that you are separated from and i was i definitely was judging <laughs> oh my gosh because it's just it's a lot going on so some of y'all with this nine of wands and the four of wands here okay but I, since I said I'm I'm not going to judge it now, okay? Maybe I was. I'm not going to judge it. I don't know who this person is, what they're going through, okay? But they seem to keep getting dragged back into, like, some kind of karmic cycles or situations here. Or they could be dealing with a whole, and I just seen 111 on the clock, like a whole uh, karmic relationship um, that's uh, costing them some money here. So they could be married. They don't have to be, but because with the emperor coming in, they could be married. The emperor, the hierophant, and the king of swords, they could be dealing with some legal issues. A lot of y'all, um, they're ending a karmic contract with somebody here. They're trying to get out of it. But the thing is, okay, so they got a karmic contract with, or a contract, I ain't going to say, I'm, because I'm not, I really don't like calling people karmics and all this stuff. It's just people, okay? So this person that, um, Okay, but it is somebody that they, they've been on a karmic path with, okay? So, it's kind of a relationship that keeps repeating the same cycles. And so, eventually, you know, to grow, sometimes people have to get out of those. Okay, so this person, whoever this feminine energy is, um, so... I feel like this is this is a third party in the situation, okay? Somebody that's been alone a lot and is really uh, wanting to break free of this situation here with this emperor here that could be the person that's on your mind, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries here. Um, but we've also got Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So all the zodiacs have come out so far. Okay, but the thing is, so this person, now for some of y'all, this person was married to whoever this other party is that they could have had kids with, definitely could have had kids with, or could have kids with. Or, you know, unless this is somebody you have kids with, but somebody that you're in separation with, this seems to be what they're going through. So, they seem to have went from the Nine of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. With the Nine of Pentacles, some of them weren't married, but they had a some kind of contract together. Like, as far as maybe they lived together. For some of y'all, maybe they just lived together and they didn't have kids. Uh, for some of y'all, for some of y'all, you could be dealing with somebody who's um, dealing with a situation with either parents, the law. Or a marriage or a baby mama situation. Something like that. But So this person is heavily burdened here. With the Ten of Inspiration. The King of Swords and the Hierophant. Like like I said. This looks like kind of like legal troubles here. Or something dealing with family here. Family situation. So it could be a marriage. Or it could be you know like I said. Some kind of legal situation. I feel like somebody's funds are getting cut into deep here. Going from the nine of materials to the four. Okay so this is. This is the blockage here. In this connection. What, um, if this message is for you. And it's a general reading. So take what resonates. Leave the rest. You know don't make it fit. and Or irritate you or any of that. Just. Just observe the situation. <laughs> okay, so justice with the two of voices, though. So this person is really torn in between, like, whoever you are, I do feel like that they they have a feeling of strong attraction towards you. Okay, here with this Knight of Wands, or... I mean, I feel like they do, but this person... There's a lot of people in this reading, okay, so... Just bear with me, and I'm I'm sorting it out. So, we got the the four of pentacles again with the ten of wands, the nine of wands. So this person, like, 
they don't feel like they need to come forward right now. They're trying to get their finances up here, honestly, it looks like, because they're still tied to this um, past situation with the moon, the Eight of Pentacles here. For some of y'all, this has even got a lot to do with their work here, with this Eight of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Like, they're trying to um, get ahead at work because of some kind of situation that's dipping into their funds. Like, like I said, either a legal situation or some kind of child support situation, okay? I don't know. Whatever the case may be, this is what's causing a blockage here. Libra energy with this justice card. And they could be dealing with the court systems again with the justice and the hierophant. Okay, so now we got the fool with the six of swords. Somebody is, like I said, working towards this um, ten of pentacles. They really got money on their mind here. Uh, and then with this four of cups, they are looking back like looking at back at you like a m opportunity that they missed possibly here but um you know still it looks like they're still they have to like somebody has to do this here they can't just break off and you know you see what i'm saying so they may have began began to see your connection as a distant horizon like something that they just can't even entertain right now with whatever they got going on with this family situation okay with this messaging and poverty um like i said their money took a big hit and now they're on this journey of trying to get their money back in in order here it looks like for some of y'all hand of cards because this is the hand of cards they've been dealing dealt okay now take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hands Somebody wants to take a leap of faith here, but the thing is, I feel like this could be you wanting to reach out to them. Um, this person hides their feelings. They wear a mask, and I don't know if it was at the bottom of the deck, but I did see <coughs> the empath and narcissist paradigm card. So this person definitely with the mask card, it's like this is somebody who you might talk to, and then they kind of run off or, you know what I'm saying, go back to whatever this situation is they're dealing with um okay so yeah with the eight of cups with the devil here definitely um they it's this energy of coming in and then going back away so beware of that especially with this knight of wands coming in twice so you know if you've got your feelings and emotions tied to this um person i would suggest seeing it as you know this knight of wands energy like you may hear from this person from time to time and i don't know i don't know here but we got next out the three of inspiration they seem to be real tied up in the situation they keep trying to close out a cycle here with this this energy or you know to be honest there could be a couple of energies that they're dealing with so really this this connection here could have been meant to spark you onto some kind of journey here okay we do got the two of cups like i do feel like there's a soul connection between you and this person but this is the type of person that's always like with the queen of wands and the page of coins i feel like that they got for some of y'all this could have been even a situation where they got a third party um possibly pregnant here okay so that's not for everybody of course but I do see a few things about possibilities like that. You know, it's like this person just got a lot going on. Okay. I think that your intuition has probably been telling you this with this page of cups, the three of swords and the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. The truth, there is some kind of truth coming out here about somebody's dishonesty or somebody. Yes. Yeah, so, this could be you realizing like this person is, there's just something about them that is not set right with me okay is what i'm getting here and it's because they wear this mask like we have two cards here as far as the mask goes like this person is just too closed off or too masky <laughs> okay so let's get some let's get some kind of advice here or some kind of oracle here i meant to say Okay, let me get some oracle for this messages, please. These messages, secret spring and success. What I was getting with the cards at the end, though, 
and you know, a lot of other cards that came out here is something about this connection here is leading you towards success. Like, I don't know, and I just saw 10 10 on the timer, and it could be maybe walking away from this connection here, okay, or this person spring. Both of these cards have got spring on them. So something could be coming in for you here in the spring, or maybe you were born in the spring. Number 34, number 36 could be significant. Okay, so we got um, fire energy here. Something is activated coming up this spring, or, you know, there could be a, a cycle that's ending now that started in the spring. Or, I don't know, y'all. Yeah, okay. Truth, maybe something's coming out here about something that happened in the spring, okay? There could be a pregnancy that started in the spring here for somebody, okay? Number 32 could be significant. We got a lot of threes here. Dragonfly spirit change. Purification. Hmm. Let's get another one. Yeah, this whole connection here was meant to help you grow and lead you towards some kind of new beginning here. Now, I'm not saying that you're not going to reconnect with this person, but I would just say be careful because they got a lot going on. That's that's what I'm seeing here. And as far as how they feel about you, um, they feel a lot of passion towards you. It's hard for me to tell if they feel love towards you or not because of all these other energies that are mixed up in the situation like it's hard for me to understand who it is that you know because i don't know which party you are in the situation so i explained all but i feel like whoever i feel like you're the queen of wands though i feel like you're the queen of wands um you know, with, and you could be embodying all these energies here, uh, because the Empress, and I just seen 12, 12 on the clock, the Empress and the, the Emperor have already mastered all the other energies of all the other Queens. So with this Emperor, um, with the nine of wands here, so this person is leveling up into this Emperor energy here after closing out this cycle. So that could be what they're doing, you know. You might hear from them, but um, I'm not sure. Like I said, there's a lot of people in here. This has led you to master something here with the master number 44, or it will. This whole, there could be, you know, there's this energy of something clearing out here. So either that's you clearing them out from your energy, or, you know, maybe they're clearing some somebody out of their energy something's being cleared out here something's leading to uh happiness and success you may you something about your work is significant here too something about you're going to be doing about your work here maybe a business or leveling up at work okay but that's what i got for y'all on this one i hope it helped in some way i love you guys see you in the next one Bye.